Are you using multiple tools for time tracking and time reporting? You can do all of that inside ClickUp. My name is Shirley from the ClickDown channel. And for today's video, I'll be showing you how you can use ClickUp's time tracking and time reporting features. Let's go ahead. The first thing that you need to do for time tracking in ClickUp is to make sure that your Click app for time tracking is turned on. You can find your Click app if you go to a list or a folder or space and go to the right of this robot and you can see here Click apps or you can simply go to your settings and you will see Click apps. Now, if you haven't enabled it yet, you need to enable this feature so that you can add your time tracking and time estimate columns. Now, when you have that enabled, you can now go ahead to add a column and you can go and show, hide that column for time tracked and time estimate. Now, the second thing you need to make sure of when you're time tracking is that you always need to assign the tasks and put due dates on them. Because the only way that it will show up for that person's time tracking is that the task belongs to them and that there is a due date where the task will appear. Of course, you need to set up your time estimate to know how long you want the employee to finish the task. And this time track is of course, is their actual time spent in completing the task. So if you want to go ahead, you can track your time directly here in the time tracked column. So you will see a small timer button and you can go ahead and click on that. So even if you haven't opened the task, you can already stop the timer here at the bottom. Or you can also click inside a task and start the timer here. Aside from that, you can also start the timer from here and the icon at the bottom, track time. And of course, if you have your ClickUp Chrome extension, you can track your time from there. Now, let's say that you already have your time tracker. You can go ahead and integrate it with ClickUp. If you have a third-party extension or a third-party tool for tracking time, you can go to integration and select time tracking. You can see here all the tools that you can integrate with ClickUp. Let's say I have Blockify, then I will install it. So I need to add it to my Google Chrome extension. And once I've added that, you can go ahead and track time from here. So when you track time from here, make sure that, yeah, it is synced with ClickUp. So now that your employees or contractors have tracked time, how will you be able to view them? There is a workload view wherein you can see how much time do they have left to work or how much capacity does each person have to fulfill their tasks. So you can go ahead and add a workload view by clicking on the view button and click on workload. This is for seeing your team's capacity to see it's overloaded or not overloaded and then you can reassign your task. So now I have a workload view. As I've said, it's important to put due dates in the task so that it will appear here in this workload view. And you can see that there are three tasks today estimated at one hour, one hour, and two hours. And you can see here how much time is actually remaining for me to be able to do this task. So to the left, I can actually see all the people in our team and I can set capacities for how much hours do they have for the week. So let's say that I only get 20 hours a week, then I can also set my daily capacity. Let's say I only work like four hours on Monday, but I don't work at all on Tuesday. Work eight hours on Wednesday, you can do that. Or just make it even at four hours every day. And you will see here how many hours they've already taken up for the week. As you can see here, I've used up two out of four hours. So that leaves me with another two hours. Let's say, why are these two tasks showing zero? 
The estimated task for the fast lane task is one hour, while the time track is already over that. It's seven hours, 44 minutes, as well as the triad is already at 14 hours when the time estimate is one hour. So what we'll show here on the workload view is that there are zero hours left. While in the market qualification task, you can see that the time estimate is two hours and I've only tracked one hour out of that task. So it will show here that I still pretty much have two hours left if I want to work on that task. That two hours is not just for the task, but for my whole work week, so to speak. Now that let's say I'm over my hours for this one if i want to move it to a different week because the next week i'll have more hours so let's say let's show the whole two weeks i can go ahead and actually move this to next week by maybe extending it over here so that the task gets moved and the due date gets moved to next week as well. That is simply how the workload capacity works. So you can go ahead and reassign the task due date or reassign it to someone else who may have more capacity than that user. So now if you also want to see all the time reported for everyone in the team, you can create a dashboard for time reporting. So you can go to dashboards and click on time reporting. So here you just simply add a widget for timesheet. Timesheet is this widget and you can select the range for the time. Let's say you want it for just this week or this is actually for last month. So you can choose who you want to be included in that timesheet and then save it. And you can see exactly what are the tasks they worked on or how long they've already worked for the past month. Now, if you also want to add the time reporting legacy, you can go ahead and add that. So again, select location, you can select all time range with be um, last week and add widget. This one will actually just show you a summary of the time tracked for the past week. It will show you the number of tasks that are tracked under that week and how many minutes was consumed within that time report. So yeah, it's kind of a bird's eye view of this time sheet. So you can also calculate the total hours spent for the past week. So this is very useful for managers who want to monitor how many hours are already being spent per user or how many hours are allotted for a certain client. So you will be going over that. So with this time tracking, you'd be able to easily see and keep track of your employees' hours and see who's over capacity, who needs to get reassigned, you know, less tasks so that everyone will just work within their time allocation. And that's it for your ClickUp time tracking. And I hope that helped you. Have a great day.